Oh, well, after I'm done with her. God said that I shouldn't come downstairs. Like a strike for you, man. Hold on, let me come and throw the strike to you. Me, I am ready to love, but I will not love the love that will make me catch strike in Biggie's house. Soma said that he is ready to catch strike for the sake of the love that he Soma had for Angel. And I'm asking Fraud, why are you not holding Angel for Soma now? And you're even telling Soma that you'll be the one that will throw that particular strike on Soma. And Soma said that he doesn't even mind coming to that head of the house lounge to carry his girlfriend because he does not like the way Fraud is stopping Angel to come and be with Soma. Ah, oh, love is sweeter. Let's talk about love. It's not every time fight and insult. And on our today's love topic, it has to do with Summer and Angel, known as Summer. We know that ever since the Mercy won the head of the house, Mercy selected Angel as one of her BFF, right? So Angel spent most of her time in the head of the house lounge. And Summer is not liking it, but also loved it. And Summer was busy waiting for Angel to come down so that they will have their love moment too. And Angel was just busy after eating her dinner in the head of the house lounge, playing snooker with fraud. And while Summer was busy waiting for Angel downstairs, doing and the labor, just have to keep Soma busy. Ah, ah, Soma will look up again. Angel is not coming down anytime soon. And that was when he started screaming, no, Fraud, can you release my girlfriend though? Or do you want me to come down so that I will carry my girlfriend and I will not catch strike? And that was when Angel was like, okay, now she be you deal with doing and the labor, eh? They should just have to keep you busy until I will not come and stay with you. That was when Ilebaye and Doni decided to excuse themselves for oh, Ilebaye was like, this guy has been complaining, no, come and carry your boyfriend because me, I'm a go, you know. Then it was like it's time for you to come. All the same, Angel now came down, but by the time she came down, she delayed because she said she needed to just take her bath and then do her skincare. And by the time she was just coming down, Soma, who was already tired of waiting but still insist on waiting, was waiting in front of the both doors, you know, the blue room and the pink room are both facing each other. So that is Angel now coming down from the staircase. I don't understand fraud. She's not sleeping upstairs. Come and kiss me. Why did you have an attitude? Because I've been waiting for you for hours. I was taking a shower. It was just some love attitude for me. So still speaking on the existing attitude protocol. Quick reminder, I am the voice of the Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces of all the entire occurrences of the ongoing Big Brother Niger Season 8 themed All-Stars Edition and my only primary assignment is to always summarize all the entire occurrences that has occurred occurring occurrence than my best for that occurrences. And Angel is asking Soma, why are you just keeping this attitude? And Soma was like, ah, why wouldn't I? And the Angel was like, did you miss me? He said, I miss you. And that was then Angel now came down and they were now just hugging each other. And this their particular conversation now extended to the guy they know. And this is Soma lamenting. On to say, fraud is just taking style now to just snatch the girlfriend though. Should be we all know that fraud is married and became the latest father so he should just leave angel alone please this is just on a lighter note too and Sama was like oh yeah just me what is it that is going on in that head of the house lounge no vessel are you sleeping with fraud how do you people sleep on the same bed did fraud cuddle you and angel was just busy laughing unnecessarily I was like no it was messy that was even sleeping beside a uh, fraud then i'm not sleeping beside messy and Sama was like eh and then again i've noticed that he has been just becoming comfortable because I caught his hand on the um, mm -hmm, I'm talking about a uh, watermelon. Angel was like, No, it was just helping me to remove pimple. Uh, he said, uh, If it is on your chest, what is different from here and here? I don't like the way this guy is just coming close to you. Angel was just busy laughing. And Angel is not telling someone, If you just don't want me to sleep there, then I'll stop sleeping. But you were the one that said you wanted me to just be there for me to be comfortable. Uh, he said, Yes, now nah, I wanted you to be comfortable. Uh, but then he said, You should just go and be all over front or allow front to be all over you. That was when they were just catching fun. And I just love the love. Uh, and that conversation is not even ending in the garden no? they don't carry themselves again go enter closet and so Matt is still telling angel i you have an attitude because you miss me tomorrow you, you will tell me the reason why he wants you to sleep upstairs why you want me to say the bed is too big are you mad 
while they were in the closet it is time for angel to go back to the head of the house lunch for her to just have her sleep and summer is missing angel already and this was when angel is telling summer if you don't want me to just continue to sleep upstairs then let me just stay downstairs remember that i've only slept there just once and that was when summer was saying that mm, it's not like i don't want it but i'm not just comfortable that you're just there again with fraud a uh -uh, summer fraud day again you have spoken about fraud when you were in the kitchen you still spoke about fraud when you guys are in the garden this is a fraud again no fraud what is it can you leave angel alone for summer and uh, angel was like make i go sleep and make i no sleep and summer was like mm, you can sleep only when fraud is not just there i don't like the way fraud has been doing he has been behaving as if he has known you all your life and uh, angel was like no we have only known each other just for one year ah now summer can't react ah only one year i thought it's up to seven years sha Anyways, they are not too sweet to watch. Ah, I, I enjoyed them last night. I was like, for the first time ever, there is no midnight fight. From the closet, for the garden, even for the kitchen side, and they ended up by that staircase side. I enjoyed every moment of Samuel speaking about Summer and Angel. And yes, they are not the only sheep in the house. There is this particular sheep as well. Mm -hmm. I hope he's not calling you and all that shit. No. <laughs> what? No, no, I a person. He saw one that said that on the street or social media say instead of these two people to just kiss and have their love moment they are still gossiping while they are kissing now you just compare yourself between some gel and this adenita which one comes with you past okay well venita and adekule were just kissing themselves by that washing area side though now him adekule can't they tell venita you know i'm not this uh, this kind of pda person you know pda means public display of affection and Benita in her usual teasing was not now you savvy and that was when Adekunle decided to gossip with Benita onto the dino tax that they just concluded to you that are most people are just crying and that crying is just fake they are using it to just chase clout that you understand that it's all about acting Benita can come with Adekunle and their gossip continues later they left the washing area and they went to have their bath and they continue with their love again it was when uh, Adekunle was telling Venita that ah, it's missing as though you are dead weight and Nyanyash is coming out. I think Venita did not accept such compliment. Whether Adekunle is stylishly telling Venita that he likes the Nyash or Venita doesn't want to have Nyash. Oh well, let's crash that. Then I was wondering how Adekunle now recovered from his early morning sickness because Pero in the morning, Adekunle was very, very sick. <laughs> Okay. Oh, while well, I was just watching the way Venita was taking care of Adekunle while he was sick yesterday morning, and the way Venita was just feeding Adekunle, now so sick, can't they hungry me to sick? Now I can't say if I can't sick now, who go can take care of me and feed me the way a Venita is feeding Adekunle? Now I Kukuma say ah, I no one sick because my own now. Now I'm a ten soft jago Kukuma can't end them now. I hear say you know they even bitter to sweet too, and it they easy to swallow. Ah, I now correct game changer. Eh, I'm a ten, I'm a ten soft jago. Therefore, thou like me shall thou not seek. And I love the baby side of Adekunle, but then I have come to conclude that whatever anybody criticizes is their hobby. I remember that Adekunle kicked against Bella and Chex, but exactly everything that Bella and Chex did during their participation in uh, Big Brother Niger Season 7 Level Up is exactly what Adekunle is now doing with Venita. So it may seem as though that Adekunle actually wanted that particular ship with Alison and it did not work. Hence, he was just criticizing and kicking against Bella and checked and i just put that whatever it is that is happening between adekule and venita is mutual because from the way i am seeing all these things it may seem as though it is one-sided maybe adekule is just using it as a strategy and venita on the other hand might also be using it as a strategy but it may seem as she is already trapped in that love and she might want a continuation at the end of the show anyways whatever that happens last last both of them go there all right and by the time they will do their reunion we should know if they will still continue just like Bella and Chex just celebrated their one year anniversary or if it will scatter and they will drag each other just like Fina and Griffey just did during their reunion. Just share your thoughts in the comment section between Somjel and Adenita. 
which ship do you want to sail and which one do you want to capsize and which one is entertaining you the most and if also this is the first time ever you are coming across my channel please do not leave without publicly promoting and publicizing my channel by simply clicking on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and also do endeavor to turn on the notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button for you not to miss out once i upload any fresh interesting entertaining intriguing cheese that has to do with the ongoing people that are just season 18 all stars addiction remember that it is okay for you to argue or agree with me if you agree with me you see why i love you when we will we say that we'll just take a picture together but if you decide on your own to just argue with me while you are at that first corinthians 14 14 as an entertainer it's always my pleasure to entertain you guys with entertaining entertainment and 